Today, I'm going to show you how to create this wood photo transfer picture ornament to hang your memories on your Christmas tree. Okay, what we will need to make this is one wood block. Um, I bought a four pack of these from Michaels and um, they have a little bit of birch on the edge, so I really liked those. One picture of your choosing or phrase, whatever, um, you want to print it in reverse and you want to make sure that it's printed on regular um, copy paper and it's important that it's printed on a um, laser jet, not an ink jet. The laser jet is like a, um, is how it prints like a copy maker because it's a heat transfer and it's a all one roller versus the ink jet that just sprays the ink onto the um, image. So it's really important that this is in reverse so that your image comes out correct and um, that it's printed with a laser jet, um, or you can print the picture on your ink jet and then just go make a copy of it, but it needs to be an ink jet to, or a laser jet to copy correctly onto our um, piece of wood. Some matte finish Mod Podge, or glossy, whichever one you decide. Some string, a container, and a sponge. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is take our wood block and our image and then put some of our Mod Podge in the container. Not a crazy amount, just enough that we can um, cover the image. And then you're gonna take your foam brush and it's really, really important that we cover this image completely and really, really well. So we want to paint the Mod Podge on here to the point that you almost can't see the image through it. And this is why it's so important that this is a laser jet and not an ink jet, because if you did an ink jet, this would be bleeding all over the place right now. So we want to put a very, very liberal amount of Mod Podge on here. So once we get our picture covered um, really well, we want to pick our picture up and carefully place it on our wood block. And then center it up as best we can. We don't want to move it a whole lot because we don't want our Mod Podge to um, thin out, but then you really want to make sure that we Press this down good, make sure there's no air bubbles under there. If a little bit of the Mod Podge comes out from the edge, that's okay. But really press this down good. Now, um, it, once we get it down the way we would like, um, it's really important that you let this sit overnight. It needs to sit 24 hours um, before we go on to the next step. So now we wait. Okay, so now that this has dried 24 hours, we are now going to remove the paper so that we are left with our photo on the wood. So to do this, we are going to take some water and we're just going to get our fingers wet and we're just going to rub the water onto the paper so that it starts to um, really wet the whole surface of the paper so we can start to see through it. Once we start to get the surface nice and wet, we're just going to do um, some circular motions to start to remove the paper. Okay, so once we're um, rubbing the first layer off, we can see our image below. It's really important that after you do um, a decent amount of rubbing that you just let it sit and dry again because what you're doing is you're also making the surface of the Mod Podge a little bit tacky and it makes it susceptible to damage. So um, when we get to a certain point, you want to let it stop, let it dry for about 10 or 15 minutes, come back and then just kind of get any little excess paper pieces off. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and we'll come back and finish this up. 
Okay, so once we let this dry, we can see that there is still some paper on our surface that we couldn't see before we let it dry again. So now we're gonna wet our fingers again and very carefully come back and we're just going to continue to do that circular motion. Be very careful, we don't wanna circle up our image. If the edges get a little bit worn away, I actually like that, I feel like it helps it to um, blend into the wood just a little bit more, but we don't want to um, have our image actually do that. So just kind of wipe away occasionally because all those little balls that we're getting up, that's all that excess paper that is still remaining. So see, when we're getting these really little tiny balls, that's the paper coming up. So that's a good thing. Okay, so once we get another uh, round of that, we're going to let it dry one more time just to make sure we don't have any paper remaining on it. Okay, so now that we have let that dry, we have a really great rustic looking photo transfer onto our block of wood, which I think is appropriate when you're transferring a photo onto wood. So now we're going to cover this with another layer of Mod Podge just to make sure that we are protecting it from um, being rubbed off or scratched or anything like that. Okay, so we are just going to take some Mod Podge and we are going to cover this completely. And I like to go all the way from edge to edge so that you don't see um, an edge line or anything like that. Okay, and now we're gonna let this dry completely. Okay, so now that our Mod Podge is dry, I'm going to drill a hole through the top of this and I will show you how to finish this up. Okay, now that we have our hole drilled through the top of our ornament, we're gonna take some jute twine and because the edges are usually frayed, I'm going to take um, some tape and we are just going to fold it onto itself and then we're going to roll it around the jute twine so that we get a nice even um, taping around so it kind of makes a casing so it will make it easier for us to thread it through our hole. So sometimes if you just twist it'll get through pretty easy and so we've already got it coming out the back side here. Let me twist just a little bit more and push as I go. Okay, so now we have it through at the back. You just pull. Here's and we, pull. I am just going to knot this. And then we're just going to trim our edges, which will also trim our tape casing off. So you can just kind of pull that off. We're going to trim our edges. And I like to put the knot towards the back. Okay, and there you have it. A rustic wood transferred photograph. Um, this makes a great ornament for your tree. This could also be something you keep out year round. It's just a great way to um, showcase those moments in life um, or memories that we'd like to remember forever um, in a different way than just putting it in a picture frame. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.